Hi, I'm Ron Fournier. Today we're going to look at some large metalworking equipment. I'm going to discuss their features and demonstrate them. This is a Chicago box pan break. It's designed to, be, to bend boxes and pans. It's really just a bending machine that does a really good job of bending sheet metal. The term break team seems to be a bit confusing to some people. Uh, this is a 48 inch break. I've got all the fingers here. I can put 48 inches worth of fingers in here and make a straight break, but that's not the idea behind the machine. The idea is to have some gaps in here that will allow you to bend pieces like this that are bent on the entire outside. We're going to bend a piece like this and we can bend a box. Here's our layout for a box. And I'm going to bend this box in a few minutes. But first we have to set the brake for both the thickness and the clamping force that this will put on our metal. I'm going to walk around to the back of the brake here. The adjuster knob is on the back. I can use this metal that I'm bending. It's just a little gauge. I'll set it right up against the bending finger and I'll adjust the finger forward until there's one metal thickness. There we go. Now we're going to check the clamping force. Okay, good. It's nice and tight. It's very firm in there. It's not going to slip. If I needed more clamping force for this, I would just simply, I'd open the brake and loosen so it's lo it actually lets the, the nut be loose. I'd go down on it slightly to tighten it. And now that I've got the one end adjusted, I need to go over and do the other side. Okay. Check my clamping force on this side. It's definitely loose. It's still a little bit loose. I'm going to one more turn here. All right, that feels better. Now I've got a bending sequence here marked out. My first bend, my second bend, my third, and my fourth. And then why I need to do them in a sequence is the long bend right here is right, of course it's got the short one sticking out in space. Well, what I need to do is get this short one up out of the way over here on this narrow finger, and I'll go number two bend over in the straight section. Now I've got a square right here. When I pull this out, I'm going to check it for squareness. I'm going to touch over. Luckily this is aluminum and I can move it around really easily. That's good. And we'll come over here for the second bend. Now you notice when I make this bend, the short section of the box will just drop in here out of the way. I'll try not to go 90, past 90 this time. And I did better. Much better, okay. Now we'll come over here. One more short one. Now the brake does have its limitations. 